What's up YouTube? It's Mike with Thousand Reptiles. This is vlog 8. So let's pan down here. Finally had some more clowns come out. So it was a pretty cool clutch. So originally I thought it was dual sired. Now uh, after talking to a few people I think it might not be. Um, so it looks like my mystic heck clown got it. I thought I had some enchies in here. I'll point out the ones that I thought were enchies. So I thought when they first came out that these two snakes were enchi clowns but now I think that they might just be really reduced clowns just normal reduced clowns um, they did come out a couple days ago they're not in shed yet but they're probably gonna go in the shed in the next day or two and then shed out and I'll definitely show them off when they do but so I thought those two were enchi head clowns I thought that this was just a normal clown and you can see how this one, if I can get it to open up, oh, let me just put those down. It's a little bit um, busier, a little more patterns down the sides like a normal clown would have. So again, if I lay it down there next to each other, we did get a normal 66% uh, posse head clown. We got a little mystic 66% posse head clown. And then we got another Mystic Clown. And uh, this is why I thought it was uh, double sired. Because we had the Mystic Clown and then I thought, you know, like I said, I thought we had Enchi Clowns. But uh, yeah, we'll see. This really reduced clowns are definitely interesting. Um, I may have to hold on to them just to see what's going on. So the weird thing is, is that the Enchi Dad was Poshet Blade. And uh, I was talking to the guy who actually got the dad from, and he said that maybe these are blade clowns. And I just didn't get lucky and hit on any Enchi in here. So maybe I hit on two blade clowns, a regular clown. And if that's the case, then it would be dual side. But anyhow, when they shed out, I'll show them off again. Um, I just wanted to, uh, this is clutch, uh, I think this is clutch 16. Yeah, this is clutch 16, so I only have one more set of eggs in the incubator. And maybe one more girl is going to give me eggs in this 2018 season. So we're coming to a halt on the babies. Alright, so you saw the babies that just uh, came out of the egg, the clowns. Uh, I've seen a lot of the big breeders, a lot of the uh, big YouTubers and big breeders do a top 10 ball pythons. So I thought maybe I would do it. Now, you know, as a heads up, my collection is not huge. But uh, I'm going to show you what I came up with as a quick top 10 I actually have a couple runner-ups in case anyone was in shed um, I think I will start with males so uh, let me grab out this guy first and I'm gonna have you just focus down there so this is my tri-stripe male TSK line uh, very cool snake some tri-stripes you don't get the full striping he's got it very very good I have some cool plans from this year. Made a bunch of hets past season. So that's my tri stripe clown. Or sorry. <laughs> Secrets out. That's what I want to make. Tri stripe clowns eventually. But um, that is my tri stripe male. So let me see who's next. Okay. Um, I'm starting with my males. So this guy here is a leopard. Candino, possible chocolate, possible GHI, but now that he's gotten older, I don't think I see the GHI anymore. Um, actually, I never saw it. I had other people tell me that. Uh, but yeah, he's very, very cool. I love how purple and yellow he's turning. Um, his mom is actually in this top 10 list as well, so I'll show her off soon. I want to eventually get this into clown as well, but uh, this season, I don't think uh, I, we'll see if he even gets up to size for this season. I don't know, though. Next up is this guy here. I haven't shown him all very much, but this is a lavender albino uh, pied. So this is a dreamsicle. He has a bunch of head pied girls that he's going to go to this year, uh, and maybe a couple other surprises. But that is a dreamsicle male, thousand grams. So he's ready to breed. He's already actually been breeding a couple girls.
This next male is actually a runner up, but since I'm doing it the way I am, I'm going to show him off. He made the runner up list. This is my GHI chocolate albino. Um, he bred a bunch of girls last year. He's going to do a whole bunch more this year. So again, yeah, let me actually turn it this way. That's the GHI chocolate albino. And now everything else will be females. I'm going to start off with uh, probably my number one. On my list. And that's my clown pied girl. And I'll leave her there while I get the next girl. So that's the clown pied female. She's like 1100 grams. She may get to go late this season. This next girl is a leopard candino. This is the mom of that male. Alright, leopard candino. Female. Um, she didn't go this past year, so I hope she goes for me this upcoming season. Uh, next up. This is the most brown chocolatey looking GHI chocolate that I've ever produced. Came from my original GHI chocolate mail. This is a GHI chocolate 100% head ghost possible head albino. Um, next up, ooh, next up is a nice one. Next up is sorry, put the whole thing down. Now this girl here is a special ghost. Eventually I'm gonna get GHI into that. A GHI head ghost or GHI ghost into that. But this is a special ghost, very cool snake. Next up is a very cool clown. This is a pastel lesser clown female, sitting at almost 2,000 grams. God, I hope she goes this year. I had cool plans last year, she didn't go. I'm trying a different male with her this year. We'll see what happens with that. All right, sorry, I gotta think of where these last two snakes are. Um, oh yeah, right here, okay, actually. Let me see you. Okay, let me go get this girl. Now this girl is a picky eater. She's taking forever to get up to size, but I cannot wait. Um, this is a champagne banana female. She's, uh, I don't know, about 12, 1300 grams. I'm hoping, oh, and she's Pos Het Ghost. So I'm hoping she goes this year. She's a cool snake. She's actually going in a shed, it looks like. Oop, and she's very jumpy. These purples when she comes out of shed are so cool. All right, and. Last but not least, is this girl. This is the GHI Chocolate Lesser Pastel Pos Het Albino Female. Uh, she was actually started, I think, my last vlog at the beginning. Um, and then I did have a runner up female that I'll show also, just because I'm doing a top 10 and two runner ups. How about that? And the runner up girl is um where did I move it to? Ah so 
I just produced a, a clutch with a bunch of these in it, and that is a black pastel super stripe. And I'll end the top 10 on her. Again, another very cool snake. Uh, as babies, they're really, really nice. Like I said, I have a bunch of them. They're just starting to eat. Once they are eating, they'll be posted up on the site. Uh, but yes, ending it with her. And uh, let me actually, I'll just end it like this so you can pan back up to me. So um, that's all for this week's vlog. Again, comment down below. Um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what else you guys want to see. This was a top 10 plus two runner-ups for 2017 and older snakes. I will do a holdback video eventually once the season ends and I figure out everything I am holding back. I'm going to have a lot of just like double head holdbacks this year. But I have some cool stuff that I'm holding back as well. Um, again, check out my morph market. I've been adding snakes, you know, as soon as they're ready. I got like five, 15 snakes added last week. I'm adding a couple more this week. So definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, hit me up if there's anything you're interested in. Um, I will be doing the Hobbit of Grace Maryland show in November. The Manassas Maryland show, or sorry, the Manassas Virginia show in December. And the Repticon in January. All right. Ozzy Reptiles out.